Welcome back again. My name is Dr. Mujukbetunde Bias, gynecologist practicing in the North York area and co-founder of Women's Education Made Simple. This is our series of secondary dysmenorrhea. Secondary dysmenorrhea refers to painful period for which there's an identifiable reason for it. This has a significant impact on your quality of life, activities of daily living, and it causes absenteeism from work, school, and other things that you would enjoy from. This typically occurs in older women, and there are associated causes like fibroids, pelvic inflammatory disease, adenomyosis, and endometriosis as well. So how is the diagnosis of secondary dysmenorrhea made? It's basically on your history, history of painful period associated with painful intercourse, void, painful voiding, and opening your bowels during the period, during the time of your menstruation. Physical examination may also show your uterus being big. There may also be enlargement of your ovaries which may indicate the presence of endometriosis. There are other things that your gynecologist may also detect, whether your uterus is fixed or it's mobile. The treatment of secondary dysmenorrhea also could start as first line using medications like non-steroidal, anti-inflammatory. Second line would be hormonal preparations. Other things could be using intrauterine devices and other injectables like Lupron. However, it's important to focus on the underlying pathology. So treatment of fibroids, adenomyosis, and endometriosis. All this treatment may also require surgical treatment. Continue to follow us at Women's Education Made Simple. We're available on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.